Pedro is supposed to practice piano for three-fourths of an hour every day. Today he is practiced for one-fourth of an hour. What fraction of an hour does he need to practice? So let's visualize three-fourths. So he needs to practice three-fourths of an hour. So if this represents an entire hour, so this represents an entire hour, so let's divide it into fourths. So now divide it into halves, now let's make it into four, equal section, now it's into fourths. So he needs to practice, so he needs to practice three-fourths of an hour. So he needs to practice three-fourths of an hour. That was my attempt at drawing an arrow. So let me shade it in. So he needs to practice, he needs to practice three-fourths of an hour. This gets us to three-fourths, three-fourths right over here. So he needs to practice three out of the fourths of an hour. So this is three-fourths. Now it says he has already practiced for a fourth of an hour. So he's already practiced for one-fourth. One-fourth. So how much more does he need to practice? How much more does he need to practice? Well, he needs to practice this much more. He needs to practice this much more. And you might already see the answer visually. But let's think about how to represent it as a, as a fraction expression. So let me write it like this. So this is how much he needs to go. How much, how much does he need to practice? So he needs to do a total of three-fourths. He's already done one-fourth. He's already done one-fourth. So if you subtract one-fourth from the three-fourths, you're going to get this amount right over here. You're going, to have to get, you're going to get the amount that he needs to practice. Now, this already has the same denominator, so this is going to be equal to three minus one over four. Three minus one over four, which is equal to two fourths. And you see that right over there. He still needs to practice one and two out of the fourths, two fourths. Now two fourths we know is the same thing as one half. There's a couple of ways to think about it. You could say, hey, look, this is half of the length of this entire thing. It has a little bit on this end and that end. Or if you made, if you made four blocks like this, if you make four blocks, if you make four equal blocks, and if you were to shade in two of them, you see that you have shaded in one half of the blocks. This is the exact same amount as if I just divided into two sections and I shaded in only one of them. Two fourths is equal to one half, is the same thing as one half. And if you wanted to work it out mathematically, you just have to do the same thing to the numerator and the denominator. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by two because they are both divisible by two. That's actually their greatest common factor. So two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. So what fraction of an hour does he need to practice? He's gotta practice half an hour.